first of all, um, it was a very good editorial uh, in the Fiji Sun this morning. I read it with considerable interest. Um, but this is a really significant visit for us and one that we're really excited about. Um, this will be the first visit to Fiji by uh, the Deputy Prime Minister and, and Minister of Foreign Affairs, Winston Peters, uh, since our government was uh, formed in late uh, 2017. And it's uh, his first visit following Fiji's own election in November uh, 2018, just last year. Um, and this is uh, an important um, scene-setting visit um, uh, for the year. It's uh, uh, a real highlight in terms of the bilateral relationship. Um, it's not the only visit that we're expecting uh, in Fiji this year, but to have someone like our Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister come here really sets the scene for us. Um, it's part of the Pacific Reset uh, that he announced in March last year mm. as well. So it's part of the approach that New Zealand is taking to all its Pacific neighbours. We have a very special friendship with Fiji. Um, it's right that uh, our Minister uh, makes Fiji, I think, his first visit to a Pacific country uh, in 2019. Unfortunately, um, he'll miss the Prime Minister of Fiji on, on this visit. Um, Prime Minister Bainimarama is heading to Geneva for um, Human Rights Council business. Um, but uh, Minister Peters will have the opportunity to um, call on His Excellency the President. Uh, he'll meet with the Acting Prime Minister, uh, and of course he'll get to know his, his new counterpart in the Foreign Affairs um, portfolio, uh, Minister Sarah Ratu. Uh, this is a great opportunity for the two ministers to get together to meet and to talk about some of the initiatives that we have going in the Fiji-New Zealand bilateral relationship at the moment and to work out how we're going to prioritise um, our, our working together uh, over the next few years. So it's a, a great opportunity um, to establish those relationships with Fiji's political leadership. So there's, um, there's a, a, a lot of um, speculation at the moment about a visit by our Prime Minister, uh, Jacinda Ardern, and I can't put it better than the Prime Minister herself you may be aware we've had a group of eight women MPs from Fiji and New Zealand right. this week. And I was thrilled to see that they had the opportunity to meet with Prime Minister Ardern uh, just yesterday. And they asked her about her visit to Fiji. And she said, don't be surprised if I pop up in Fiji sometime soon. Um, but that's, uh, I can't go any further than what my Prime Minister herself has said, mm. um, except to say that we do hope to see her in, in Fiji this year, but the dates have not yet been confirmed. Um, but we've got our Deputy Prime Minister um, and, and Foreign Minister arriving, as you know, next week. Um, I'd like to point out he's not the only Minister arriving at the same time. We also have our Minister for uh, Social Development, Carmel Cipollone, arriving as well. Um, so she's got her own program uh, in Fiji next week, meeting with her counterparts in the Fiji government and also um, meeting with the Pacific Disabilities Forum uh, out in, in Nandi. They're holding a conference uh, next week. Her portfolio also covers disabilities issues as well. It's an area that she's um, very passionate about. Um, and we'll also have our Minister for Pacific Peoples who will be in Fiji uh, next week as well. Um, and he will have a meeting with uh, the Minister of Health, uh, Minister uh, Wangana Betty, um, and we're really excited about that too. So that's three ministers that we've got in Fiji just next week alone. Then there's the prospect of the Prime Minister's visit. Um, we have the Forum Economic Ministers meeting and, and the Forum Foreign Ministers meeting, I think, to be hosted in Fiji this year. And you'll see high level attendance, um, um, probably by Winston Peters again for the Forum Foreign Ministers meeting. Um, we, uh, we're also expecting some other ministers um, to visit Fiji over the course of this year. I'm not yet in a position to be able to provide you with more details about that. But this will be, uh, I think, a really busy year for the bilateral relationship uh, between Fiji and, and New Zealand. And it will be characterised by a number of high-level visits. Uh, this is part of what the Pacific Reset is all about.